Yürü, yürü. Yürü. Sagittal section. Okay. In this picture, you can see a sagittal section of embryo. Okay. And you can see what is this? Coronephros system and mesonephros system and mesonephros. Okay. Again, you can see in this picture coronephros. Meso and meta. Okay. Poor nephros is non-functional system. It is rudimentary system. Just. Meso nephros may function for a short time in the early embryology period. And then is disappeared. Okay. And meta nephros is a permanent or definitive kidney. Okay? Metanephros forms or gives rise to permanent kidney. At first, I'm going to explain about the polonephros. At the beginning of fourth week, polonephros is out here. But the end of fourth week, this structure is rudimentary, then can disperse. Okay? So, poronephros is non functional system. Okay? But, mesonephros, mesonephros. The beginning of fourth week, mesonephros is originated from intermediate mesoderm. Okay? Intermediate meso. So let's see this picture. In this picture, you can see a transfer section of embryo. Transfer section of embryo. Okay? Polonephrus gives rise a S shaped loop. This is a S-shaped loop. Mesonephros gives rise to S-shaped loop. The medial side of this loop, the medial side of this loop, you can see, you can see glomerol and women's capsule, capsule or renal capsule, uh, corpus scale. Renal corpus scale, okay? Again, repeat, the medial side of this loop forms an S-shaped. Renal, 
Permanent kidney. And 
This is metanephric tissue. Okay? This is ureteric blood. <coughs> ureteric blood is origin or source for collecting system. In the other word, collecting system is originated from ureteric blood. <coughs> what is the ureteric blood? Ureteric blood is outgrew from mesonephric duct. Okay? At first, ureteric blood is formed and then penetrate to, to metanephric tissue and gives rise to collecting system such as retin, retin pelvis, major calyx, minor calyx, and collecting Okay? Thank you so much. Capsules, proximal and distal PCT, DCT, tubules, and group of and Okay? These structures are parts of nephron. Okay? Excretory system include these structures. Let's see these pictures. In this picture, you can see a part of collecting tubule. tubule. Collecting tubule. Metanephric tissue. Metanephric tissue is appear around the collecting tube. Metanephric tissue as a chap is appear around the collecting tube at the first step. At the first, metanephric tissue as a cap is out here around the, around the collecting tubule. Vesicles. And the finally, renal vesicles gives rise to oh, nephron unit. Nephron oh, unit, okay? Oh. But the medial or proximal end of each neuron gives rise to women's capsule and glomerular, and distal end of each nephron gives rise to proximal and distal congregated tubules and loop of hemorrhoids. Okay? What is this? Collecting tubules. That is originated from mesenteric caps or mesonephric ducts. Okay? And <laughs> What is this? Distal. 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 Proximal. Okay. These structures are originated from? Distal. Metanephric. Okay? One, ureteric bud, two, 
metanephronic music tissue. Wolf and dot. Okay. Uretric what gives rise to collecting yeah. systems. Okay. And metanephric tissue gives rise to excretory units. Duplication, ureter. Duplication of ureter. Complete or incomplete? Partial. Partial or incomplete, okay? In this slide, I'm going to explain about positional change of kidney during the embryonic period. Positional change of kidney. But this is very important 
very clinical, very important clinical points. Okay? Pelvic? Please read and tell me. Pelvic? Pelvic? There is an abnormality that is called pelvic kidney. In this condition, one kidney can ascend or ascending process of one kidney is failed. Okay? So, one kidney remains there pelvic Okay? This is pelvic kidney. Kidney remains close the common iliac artery in the pelvic region. Okay? So, there is another abdominal, abnormal condition, abnormal condition that is called host show kidney. Host show Kidney. In this condition, in this condition, inferior whole of kidneys are joined together, and then kidneys cannot ascend to abdomen. Okay. Inferior whole of kidneys fuse together. And usually is located at the level of lower lumbar vertebra. Okay. In the other word, this is inferior mesenteric artery. In the other word, the root of inferior mesenteric artery prevents from ascending process of kidney. Okay. <coughs>
two parts. Anteriorly and posteriorly. Anteriorly part and posteriorly. Anterior your genital sinus and posteriorly or ano rectal canal. Okay? Pulvar part divides into your genital sinus anteriorly and anorectal canal posteriorly. Okay? In this session, we focus on your genital sinus just. Your genital sinus. Your genital sinus is here. And this is ano The next step, your genital sinus gives rise to three parts. Upper, middle, and inferior. Or lower. Okay? Upper part, middle, or lower part. Upper, or and lower, or narrow neck. Upper part, or expanded cranial part, upper part, or expanded cranial part, gives rise to bladder, gives rise to bladder. Bladder is here. Bladder is originated from your genital sinus. As I said, your genital sinus is originated from anger. Okay? Middle part or narrow neck gives rise to pelvic urethra. Pelvic urethra. Pelvic urethra is here. And the lower part gives rise to phallic segment. Phallic segment. So, by this way, your genital sinus gives rise to bladder, pelvic, and phallic segment. Okay? Bladder is here. What is this? Okay. Narrow neck or pelvic urethra. Pelvic urethra is important. And lower part or body segment. Okay. By this way, bladder is full. But Pelvic urethra in the main gives rise to membranous and prostatic urethra. Anatomically, anatomically, in the main urethra consists of three parts: prostatic, membranous, and spongy. Okay, or penile. Membranous and prostatic urethra are originated from heavy urethra. But a spongy urethra is originated from phallic segment. Okay? So, urethra in the main is originated from your genital sinus. Or is originated from endoderm. Endoderm. No mesoderm, intermediate mesoderm. Okay? In the female, pelvic urethra gives rise to urethra. As you know, in the female, urethra is one part, just urethra. No spongiose, no uh, membranous. Okay? And 
lymphatic segment gives rise to vestibule. Vestibule is a part of genital system. Okay? Narrow neck. Narrow neck. Narrow neck. Or Narrow neck. Pelvic urethra. Pelvic urethra in female gives rise to urethra. In the male gives rise to prostatic and varus And uh, this is a spongy or penile. In the male, a spongy urethra is originated from the phallic segment. Okay? Thanks for your feedback. Okay, in this picture, you can see development of uh, your genital sinus and uh, their structures. by median umbilical ligament. This is bladder, apex of bladder. In adult, apex of bladder or anatomically, apex of bladder connects to umbilical region by median umbilical ligament. Okay? But embryologically, in the embryo, in the embryo, apex of bladder connects to umbilical region by alanteus duct. Alanteus is an open duct. So, in the other word, in embryo, bladder connects to umbilical ligament, umbilical region by an open duct. That is called alantus. Okay? Alantus. The late phase of embryonic life or embryonic period, alantus, the duct or lumen of alantus is obliterated and gives rise to a fibrous cord or oracle. This is oracus in the embryo, but in the adult, median umbilical ligament. In the other word, median umbilical ligament is remnant of alanthus. Okay. So 
palatus remains open and then leads to rocker signs. Please tell me the name of this abnormality. Rocker cyst. Prostate, membranous, sponge. Membranous and sponge. Prostate and membranous urethra are related from pelvic urethra. Pelvic urethra is a part of urogenital sinus. Middle part of urogenital sinus. Okay? If we make and look at this picture. In this picture, you can see a schematic picture of urethra in May. Prostatic urethra is here. And this is membranous part of urethra. And this is a spongy or pinal urethra. Okay? But in the female, there is one urethra, one part, that's urethra. No spongy, no prostate and membranes. Urethra in the female is originated from pelvic urethra. A spongy urethra is originated from pelvic Important note. As I said, urinary system is originated from intermediate mesoderm. Except bladder and urethra. Bladder and urethra are originated from endoderm. From cloak. Okay? And go there. No intermediate.